record and absorb the subculture. And what you've just been listening to is the ultimate in recorded sound. It will make all conventional disc and cassette systems obsolete. It's dustproof, scratchproof, digitally recorded, read by a laser, and it's called the compact disc. Hey everybody, welcome to Midnight Cherry Tea for another episode of uh, the Daily Disc here on, on the channel. Uh, we're doing 20 straight days of, of compact disc music reviews. Uh, that's kind of what we're doing here on, on the channel for 20 straight days. We're on uh, uh, day uh, let's see, 17, day 17 guys. Uh, we got three three CDs left after this, uh, but it's the final the final compact disc from the mid 2000s. The the mid 2000s have sort of been a a popular popular era here for the channel on season one. Uh, we got a lot of uh, a lot of kind of 2003 to uh, 2006 albums, uh, kind of uh, kind of enlightening uh, to see how many albums here in the Midnight Cherry TV archive. Uh, music archive come from that time period. Nothing wrong with that, guys. Uh, but we've got another one here, Cut Chemist. Uh, Cut Chemist, the audience. Let's see if we can't get that uh, get that in focus. We'll flip around, guys. But uh, Cut Chemist, the audience is listening. The audience is listening, guys. Uh, we got, uh, but yeah, the Cut Chemist, the audience is listening. Uh, that is that is the track. Uh, that is that is a great album cover. Let's let's take a look at that album cover uh, without the glare. But there, there is the album cover, guys. That's got to be. Uh, I'm gonna give that a uh, an 8.5 for album cover. Cut chemist. The audience is listening. We got a we got a microphone dressed up um, as a composer with with the headphones on, guys. So uh, the audience is listening. You know, I don't know exactly what it means, but I love it. Uh, this is a kind of a great album cover for my for my opinion. 8.5. <clears throat> if you're not not familiar with Cut Chemist, Cut Chemist was the uh, one of the DJs from. Uh, there's all the uh, samples listed on there, I believe. Let's see, can't uh, can't get that in focus. Very hard to get the black, the black to focus here on uh, on the on the, the channel. But uh, there we go, looking looking pretty good. But uh, there's all the samples. Now th this is a DJ album. This is Cut Chemist is the DJ from Jurassic Five. There's the back of the album cover. We got more microphones. Appreciate that. But uh, Cut Chemist. One of, one of the best logos of all time, guys. Uh, scissors and a beaker. Uh, but not, not one of those uh, lame beakers, kind of one of those potion potion beakers. But uh, Cut Chemist, the audience is listening. Cut Chemist, this, uh, this came out in 2006. Another one of those uh, 2006 uh, albums, uh, just like uh, CSS from, uh, from yesterday's episode. But uh, the audience is listening, guys. That is... That is uh, a quality album cover, 8.5, uh, excellent logo, not really part of the uh, the album cover. And that's fine, that's cool. But let's take a look at these tracks. You got Motivational Speaker, My First Big Break, The Lift, The Garden, Spat, What's the Altitude, uh, Met Metro Rail Through Space, Storm, 2266 Cambridge, Spoon, A Peak in Time, The Audience is Listening, Theme Song. So you do get a theme song here, guys. Let's take a look, see if anything's... Uh, Behind the CD doesn't doesn't look like it. Just another another microphone. Got to love the microphone motif, guys. But uh, but cut chemist. 2006. The uh, the DJ from Jurassic Five. He left Jurassic Five in 2004, I believe. 2004, 2005. He uh, to finish working on this album. He had been working on. Uh, all the samples in this are cleared, uh, which is very hard to do for a DJ album. <clears throat> um, even if you're not into dance music or DJ music. Uh, this is kind of a perfect album to listen to. It's got some singles. It's got some just sort of instrumental tracks. Uh, a lot of deep cut uh, sort of samples he's using here. A lot of stuff. A lot of samples you probably never heard of. Um, you do get you do get some some short songs, some long some longer songs. You do get some little interludes. Um, it is it is an excellent album, excellent dance album, excellent kind of uh, just kind of move your feet, uh, get up off the ground, enjoy some uh, enjoy some music. The audience. Audience is listening, cut chemist. But uh, but overall, guys, if you're not a fan of Jurassic Five, you might not be a hip hop fan. Uh, cut chemist might be something to check out. Uh, it is not really strictly hip hop. It's not really kind of a, a rap album at all. Uh, it's a DJ album. Uh, you know, it's it's music. Uh, f all the music you hear in this album is is DJ samples that have been put together meticulously by Cut Chemist by the DJ. Uh, I've seen Cut Chemist live. I've seen him. 
mixed stuff live. He is, he is an impressive DJ. You know, the art of DJing, actual mixing of records, vinyl records, uh, is kind of a lost art skill uh, these days. Uh, with every, every, everything kind of done on a laptop nowadays. But Cut Chemist still still can do it the old school way. Of course, he does do computer work nowadays, but as, as they all do. But uh, the Cut Chemist, I'm going to give the music... I'm going to give the music an 8, guys. I'm going to give the music an 8. Given, uh, given Cut Chemist, uh, the audience is listening an 8. Given an album cover, I'm giving it a, an 8.5. Uh, love the simplicity of it, the kind of uh, speaker there. But uh, I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna leave you with uh, either a peak in time or a 2266 Cambridge. One of those. One of those two tracks. Hopefully you you enjoy it. Hopefully you hear something a little different. Uh, you know, Cut Chemist might not be one of those one of those uh, acts you've ever heard of. Uh, you might have missed out in the mid 2000s sort of uh, boom of of music, uh, according to the Midnight Cherry TV archives. Uh, but if you ha- if you have, um, check out uh, Cut Chemist. Make sure you interact with the video. Like, dislike, uh, subscribe, comment, all that kind of good stuff. And enjoy little tunes here on another episode of the Daily Disc. Of course, I'll come back tomorrow and we'll do it all over again. Thanks again, guys. <laughs>
software both lined up, compact discs may well rule the roost, at least until someone perfects a method of putting Beethoven's ninth on a silicon chip. Don't laugh. I'm assured that that day, in fact, is not too far off.